Start to take your attention to your breath. Begin to notice where the breath travels as you inhale and as you exhale. As you inhale, feel the body expand. Notice the breath traveling in through the nostrils and down deep to the core of the body. As you exhale, start following that breath from way down deep, back up and out through the nostrils or the mouth. Follow the breath for the next few rounds. Then take the attention back to the body, lying on the floor. And let's start to check in a little more closely, creating a tighter mind-body connection. So starting way down at the feet, checking in with the toes. Check in with the soles of the feet, the tops of the feet. Notice the heels and the ankles. Notice the shins and the calves. Check in with kneecaps and the backs of the knees. The fronts of the thighs and the backs of the thighs. How are you feeling in your hips, front and back? Notice how the belly's feeling and the low back. Move the attention out to the fingers. Check in with the palms of the hands, the backs of the hands. Check in with the wrists and forearms. Move up to the elbows, the upper arms. How are your shoulders feeling? How's the chest feeling? Notice how the low back, excuse me, the upper back is feeling. Check in with the back of the neck, with the throat. Notice the back of the head, the facial muscles. Take the attention all the way to the crown of the head. Pause here for just a moment. And then scan all the way back down through the body, back to the toes. And then we get ready to take the attention back to the breath for our three part yogic breath practice. So taking a hand to the belly, if you like, we're going to start by inhaling and really expanding that belly out and away. Exhale, we're going to pull the belly back to the spine. Inhale, expand the belly. And exhale. And one more time, really inhale to expand the belly way out. And exhale. Return the breath to normal. Notice how the belly's feeling. I'm going to take two hands to the ribs. Fingers facing inward towards the center. As we inhale, we focus on sending the breath into the ribs, expanding them way out. As we exhale, we feel the ribs move back towards the center. 
Inhale, expand the ribs. And exhale. And then one more time, really expand those ribs as you inhale. And a slow, complete exhalation. Let the breath go back to normal once again. Take a moment to notice again how you're feeling and then take the hand right below the collarbones to the top of the chest. Start to send the breath to the top of the chest. So as you inhale, you expand the chest upward towards the ceiling. As you exhale, let the chest fall back towards the floor. Inhale, expand the chest upward. And exhale. One more time, a deep inhalation. Really expand the chest upward and away. And a slow, complete exhalation. Exhale all the air from the chest. And return the breath to normal. And the next part of this practice is to put all three of those parts together. So as we inhale, we're gonna expand the belly, let that breath expand up into the ribs and expand it all the way to the collarbones. Exhale from the top, exhale from the middle, exhale all the air from the belly. Inhale, expand the belly, expand the ribs, expand the chest, exhale from the top, Exhale from the middle, exhale from the belly. One more, inhale belly, expand the ribs, expand the chest, exhale from the chest, exhale everything from the ribs, and exhale everything from the belly, pulling the belly back towards the spine. And then once again, return that breath to normal. Take a moment to feel the body. And we begin to integrate some movement to our practice. So as we take our next inhalation, stretch the body out nice and long on your mat. Reach the fingers overhead, stretching fingers away from toes. Reaching as long as your body allows. Then start to reach one side longer than the other. So for instance, right fingers away from right toes. And then alternate left fingers, start reaching away from left toes, relaxing the right side. Take a moment to stretch through that way. Pausing where it feels really good noticing what your body needs you to do. And then let's inhale and stretch long up the center one more time. As you exhale, begin to hug the knees to the body. Begin to rock the low back gently side to side. Come back to stillness at the center. Start to reach the soles of the feet towards the ceiling. And once you get those legs stretched out, knees straight or not, whatever feels good here, don't overstretch. Start to circle the ankles, point and flex the toes, whatever the legs feel like they need right now to wake up and get ready to do some work on your mat. Then begin to hug the knees back to you. Take the soles of the feet to the floor. Walk them out wide so the feet are touching the outer edges of the mat. Take the arms out to a low T shape. 
Big inhale here. As you exhale, start to let the knees fall over to one side. So gently twisting. Inhale, we're coming back through center. Exhale, let the knees fall the opposite direction. So here, let's start synchronizing our movement with our breath. Keep going, inhaling through center, exhaling, dropping the knees slowly, gently to one side. Begin to add the head to the action. So nose goes the opposite direction of the knees. And then the next time the knees fall over to the right, let's hang out here for a few breaths. Relaxing down into our twist, allowing the left side body to open up. Inhale into those left side ribs and hip. Feel the body expand upward. Exhale closer to the floor. As you inhale, feel those muscle fibers calling upon their elasticity. Exhale, sinking further to the floor with perhaps a little more space. And one more breath, deep inhale, really expand upward. Exhale to relax down. And then let's inhale the knees and nose back up through center. Exhale, knees to the opposite, nose to the opposite. So knees are to the left, nose are, noses to the right. And we're gonna start breathing here again. So we inhale to expand those right ribs, the right hip. Exhale, relaxing closer to the floor. A couple more breaths like that here. Thinking about expanding as you inhale, relaxing as you exhale. One more breath. Inhale those knees back up to the center one more time. Start to hug them to you again, just for a brief hug. And then we're gonna start letting the knees fall out to the side. Start reaching between the knees and reaching towards the feet or the shins. So we're letting the legs fall out, the knees fall out to either side and holding on to the shins or the feet at the center. And so again, using your breath here, as you inhale, feel that stretch of the inner thigh area, maybe outer thigh as well, depending on your level of flexibility. You exhale, see if you can let those knees relax out further. You can even give them a flutter, like a butterfly flutter. And then one more breath here. Again, we're gonna start pulling the knees in together and taking the soles of the feet back to the ground. And so from here, as you feel ready, you can start making your way to your seat. So let's find a comfortable seated position. And if you need your blanket or your pillow to sit on or just the floor, find whatever makes you comfortable. So your legs can be crossed or out straight. We don't have a specific seating pattern for the neck and shoulder stretches. Do what feels good for your body in this moment. Check in with your sit bones. Make sure you feel them making contact with the floor. Begin to roll the shoulders up to the ears and then down the back a few times. And then let's go forward with the shoulders. And let's take the shoulders all the way up to the ears. Really tight, scrunchy shoulder. 
flexion here and then take those shoulders a little bit behind the ears and allow them to drop comfortably down the back. With your next inhale, let's start to look up. So we're stretching the throat nice and long, leading with the chin. As you exhale, start to tuck the chin towards the throat, lengthening the back of the neck. Inhale, look up with the chin again. And exhale. This time, inhale the nose up to neutral. As you exhale, you're going to start dropping the right ear to the right shoulder. Inhale back up. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Inhale back up one more time. Let's drop right ear to right shoulder and hold it there. So take that left arm and just let it hang. So we're allowing gravity to pull these muscles longer through the weight of the arm and the shoulder. Take a breath here. And then inhale, reach the head back to neutral. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Again, we're going to use the weight of gravity, allowing the right fingertips to touch the floor, feeling the shoulder pull away from the ear a little bit more intensely. Keep breathing. And then let's inhale everything back up into neutral. One more time, give that chin a stretch, realigning the throat, the neck muscles, and then looking down, tucking the chin. And inhale back to neutral. Take the fingertips to either side. Inhale, reach way up. Exhale. Fingertips touch down. Reach way up as you inhale again. And exhale. We're going to side stretch next. So reach up with the left arm. Start to let the right fingertips move away so that you can reach over and stretch nicely into that left side. Check in with your sits bones. Make sure the left sits bone is still making contact. And keep breathing. Inhale back up. Reach up with both arms. And exhale, let the left hand drop. And slide out slowly, keeping that stretch comfortably deep. Right sits bone is still making contact with the floor. Inhale, reach up again with two hands. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lengthen the spine, reach through the crown of the head. As you exhale, twist the body towards the right. Inhale through center, twist the body as you exhale towards the left. Inhale through center. Let's take it a little deeper. So as we exhale to the right, we're going to take the left hand to the outside of the right thigh. And so just pause there for a minute, feeling that twist start to go deeper into the upper spine. Keep breathing. And then if you want to take it a little deeper, you can take the left hand up, excuse me, the right hand up and back around. Let those right fingertips touch down on the floor. Look over the back shoulder. One more breath here. And then we're going to inhale back to center. Reach both arms up. Exhale, we're twisting and taking the right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Keep breathing here. And then let's inhale the left arm up and the round back, around to the back if that's comfortable for you. 
Take the gaze over the back shoulder. And keep breathing. One more breath. And again, we inhale back to center. Reach both arms way up. Exhale the hands to the heart. Inhale those arms way out. Exhale, left arm comes across. Give that left shoulder a bit of a stretch. You can hook underneath with the right arm to get some more leverage here. Inhale, open back up. Exhale, right comes across, left comes under. And hook up into that arm as deep as feels good for you. And then inhale, reach way back out again. Exhale, hands behind you. You can clasp the hands or the fingers, or you can let the hands come to the floor. But as you inhale, raise the chest upward towards the ceiling. Open that front chest, open the heart center. Breathe there for one more breath. Inhale, reach two hands way up again. And exhale, hands to heart. So we're gonna shift our legs around a little bit. From here, we're gonna pull the legs out ahead of us. Coming into a wide leg seated position. Check in with those sits bones. Make sure that you feel the contact there on your mat or the floor. Drop your shoulders. Inhale the spine really nice and long through the crown this time. As you exhale, take the hands in front and start to forward fold, keeping the back nice and flat as you come forward. And it may be that you only come forward a little bit. You want to feel the backs of the legs stretching. Flex the feet, keep, keep the toes facing upwards towards the ceiling. And then let's inhale all the way back up. And we're going to go one more time. So check in with the sits bones. Inhale long through the spine, through the crown of the head. As you exhale, make sure you feel that fold happening at your hips, keeping your back nice and flat. So check in if you put your hands relatively on your hips, that's a nice flat back. You want to keep that there and then take the hands to the floor as you start moving deeper into your forward fold. And once you get as far as you feel like you're going to go, you can stay here if you're comfortable. You can grab your pillow if you want a little support or your blanket. And we're going to stay in this forward fold for five breaths. So we're really focusing on releasing the backs of the legs, the hamstrings, the calf muscles. And keep breathing for two. Three, and four, and one more breath. Then we start to inhale back up, walking hands back, moving the pillow out of the way, or the blanket. We're going to pull the legs together. Again, the soles of the feet come together. If you can grab onto the feet, you can hold on there. If you need to have a little more space, you can hold on to the shins. But we're going to inhale up nice and tall here. As we exhale, we're going to do that forward fold one more time. So really focus on keeping the back neutral. So that we only feel this in the legs instead of in the low back. So let's stay here for a couple of breaths. So inhale nice and slow and deep. And exhale. One more 
more time, a nice deep inhalation, expanding through that stretch, and exhale. And then we inhale all the way back up, pull the legs together, and we're gonna flip around to tabletop position. So as you're ready, find your tabletop. Check in with your alignment. Plant the wrists and the elbows right below the shoulders, knees are right below the hips. Take a deep inhale here, push into the hands, pull the chest through right between the shoulders, look forward. And then as you exhale, start to push into the hands. Feel the shoulder blades move away from each other. Curve that upper back, up with the chin. Inhale, push into the hands and look forward. And exhale, again, feeling the shoulder blades doing the movement. And one more time, inhaling through. Exhaling to curve. Last one, and inhale through. This time as we exhale, we're taking the belly towards the spine, the hips towards the heel. And then we get ready to inhale, we're gonna start coming forward. Exhale, belly to spine, hips to heel. Inhale forward. One more. Exhale, belly to spine, taking the hips back to the heels. Feel that stretch happening down the arms and into the back. And then inhale, come forward. This time when you exhale, you can sit all the way back to child's pose. Good. Find comfort in your child's pose if you need to take the toes together and move the knees out to make some space. You can walk the arms out ahead of you. And again, if you need some support with your child's pose, you can grab your pillow or your blanket, put it under your chest or your belly, and then let that body stretch out. Reach the fingers way far away, keep the arms active. Breath down here for three breaths, breathing into the back body. As you inhale, feel the back expand. As you exhale, feel the whole body relax down towards the floor. Keep breathing for two. And one more, breathing for three. Inhale the back body, nice and full. Exhale, relax down. And then we're going to start inhaling back to tabletop. We start to activate the core a little more intensely. We're going to start reaching through the legs. So no particular pattern here. We're going to just start reaching back through the heels, feeling the weight shift from side to side. Get a moment to pause anywhere that feels like it needs a good stretch. And then we're going to come back to neutral. So check in with your alignment again. Make sure you feel like your shoulders are nicely away from the ears. The weight is traveling down through all the fingers, so the hands are nice and spread. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, activate your core so the belly comes gently back towards the Spine. And then as you inhale, you're reaching through that right heel. Keep your hips level with the floor. Exhale the knee down. Exhale belly to spine as well, so that when you're ready to inhale, you're in place and you can reach through the left heel. Exhale down, belly to spine. Inhale, reach through the right. And exhale down. Belly comes to spine. 
And now through the left. And exhale down, belly to spine. Take a moment to shake out the wrists if you need to. We're going to add a little intensity. And then we come back to our tabletop. So we're going to take a deep inhale, exhale, belly to spine. This time as we inhale, we reach through the right heel. We're going to add the left arm. We'll hold it for one more breath. And exhale it down. Inhale, reach through the left heel. Add the right arm. One breath. And exhale it down. Let's do three more on each side. Inhale, reach right heel, left hand. Exhale down. Anytime you just want to do the heel, you can. Exhale down. Right heel, left hand. And exhale down. Last one, right. down and last one left and exhale down again take a moment to shake out the wrists readjust where you need to and then we're going to come back to our tabletop so that we can begin some baby sign salutations from tabletop Again, we're checking in with the alignment. Spread the fingers way out. Take a deep bend now here. Look forward with the chest and the gaze. As you exhale, start to curve the belly back towards the spine. Take the hips back towards the heels. And then as we end up forward, we're going to start coming all the way through down to the belly. Exhaling all the way down. The hands should be right below the shoulders. Take a deep inhale. As we exhale, the belly comes to the spine. And then we're going to inhale to raise the shoulders and head. Cobra pose. Exhale all the way down. Inhale, coming back up through tabletop. Exhale back to child pose. We're going to do four more. Inhale up through tabletop. Exhale, roll down to the belly. Use the strength of the arms, coming down slowly. As you finish your exhale, the belly comes to the spine. And then when we get ready to inhale, the shoulders and the head raise. Exhale all the way down. That was two. Inhale up, tabletop. Exhale back to child pose. Inhale back up. Exhale down to the belly. As you exhale, the belly comes to the spine. Then as you inhale, you can raise the shoulders and the head safely. And then we exhale all the way down. Inhale back up. And sit back to child's pose up. And be number three. We have two more. Inhale back up to tabletop. Exhale lower. As you finish your exhale, the belly comes to the spine. We inhale the shoulders and the head. Exhale all the way down. Inhale, push up, knees back to the table. Sit back to the child's. We have one more. Inhale, back up to tabletop. Exhale, lower. All the way down. Activate the belly as you finish your exhale. Inhale, reach up with the head and the shoulders. And exhale, back to the floor. Inhale, all the way up and back. And then you can stay back in child pose for three breaths. Again, if you need your pillow for support, grab your pillow or your blanket. And reach way out in child's pose. Two more breaths. And 
and one more breath. Next, we're going to inhale back up to tabletop. This time we're going to come up to standing through downward facing dog. And for anybody who does not practice downward facing dog, you can just meet us at standing. We're checking in again with the alignment, spread the fingers. You can be bent down, curl the toes under. As you exhale, lift the hips. Just feel that weight shift between the hands and the feet. Pedal through the feet, keeping the knees bent. You're just feeling your, your level change with this first downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale, exhale, knees back to the floor. Readjust where you need to. Inhale again, curl the toes. Exhale, full downward facing dog this time. Let's stay for three breaths. Breathing for one, keep breathing for two, and one more breath. Keep breathing for three. As you start your next inhalation, begin to bend the knees. Walk the feet to the hands, or the hands to the feet. And then when you get there, into a gentle forward fold. Release the weight of the head towards the floor. And then get ready. As you exhale, activate your belly. And then we're gonna end down, come all the way up. Coming up to mountain pose at the top of your mat. So you guys come to the top of your mat, I'm just gonna face you. And once you get to your mountain pose, check in with your feet. Make sure you feel the weight distributed between the balls of the feet and the heels. Make sure you feel the heels right below the hips and the knees as well. Check in with the knees, make sure they're nice and soft, not locked. Pull the shoulders up to the ears and down the back again. Let the palms face forward. Feel the body get taller as you inhale, reach the crown of the head towards the ceiling. If you're comfortable, close your eyes for a couple of breaths and feel your standing posture, nice and strong and steady. You do not have to close your eyes if that's not comfortable for you. Take a soft gaze out ahead of you. Ready, we're gonna start our standing sun salutations to get that core nice and warmed up. So again, check in with your mountain pose. Open the eyes, inhale, start to reach the arms way up. Exhale, start to fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold all the way. Remember to bend the knees if you need to. And then for coming back up, we inhale, lift the knees back, reach the arms overhead, and exhale the hands to the heart. Back to mountain pose. We have four more. Inhale, reach way up. Exhale, we fold. Bend your knees if needed. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold. And then gently bend the knees as you inhale. Come all the way back up. Exhale, hands to heart. Back to mountain pose, three more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Use your breath. Inhale, we come up halfway. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, push into the feet, bend the knees slightly, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. 
on mountain pose, two more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold, belly to spine as you fold. Inhale up halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold. And now all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Mountain pose. Last one. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, belly to spine, start to fold. Inhale, flat back, coming up halfway. And exhaling to fold. Inhale, bend the knees, all the way up. And exhale, the hands to the heart. Mountain pose, stand in mountain pose for just a moment. Touch up with your breath. One more breath here. So check in with that mountain pose again. As we begin our warrior sequence. So take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, step that right foot back and start to turn to face the long edge of your mat. Check in with your feet. Make sure the outer edges of your feet are parallel to the short edges of your mat. Check in with your knees and your toes. Make sure everything feels comfortable. Exhale the belly to the spine. As you take your next inhale, turn the right toes out to the short edge of your mat. So check in with those feet. Make sure that the right heel is relatively across from the left arch of the foot. Take those left toes just slightly more inward to get some traction on your mat. And then here we take an inhale. We're going to raise the arms. As you exhale, start to bend the right knee. Pay attention to where your knee is going. And make sure that knee is facing the same direction of your toes. Take two breaths here. Feel the shoulders relax. Feel the gaze coming across the right fingertips. One more breath. And then we're going to inhale, straighten that knee, drop the arms. Check in again with your, your, butt, your base, your feet. Notice if you need to make any adjustments. And then we're going to take a deep inhale with the arms again, coming into our warrior position. Exhale, bend that front knee. Maybe a little deeper this time. Take the attention back to the breath. Notice as you exhale that your belly becomes nice and activated, taking care of your back. And then let's inhale the right arm, palm facing upward. As we exhale, start to reach those right fingertips towards the sky. Let the left hand drop to the back of the left thigh. Exhale again, check in with that belly. It's nice and active. Inhale, come forward, back to warrior two. Keep breathing here. And then the next time we exhale, we're gonna take the right forearm to the top of the right thigh. And you guys, now let's get the chest nice and open first. So feel this long left side happening. Feel the chest opening to the wall ahead of you. And then once you get that feeling, you can take that right arm as low onto the right thigh as allows for you to keep that chest nice and open. When you're ready, you can inhale the left arm up and exhale, feel that left arm start to brush right next to the ear. So keeping the shoulder away from the ear and keeping that line very nice and long along the left side of the body. Keep breathing here. To make it a little more challenging, you might be able to look 
up towards the ceiling slightly. If that does not work for your balance, keep looking straight ahead or you can look down towards the floor. One more breath. And then we're gonna inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, drop the arms. Right toes face the long edge of the mat. Walk that, the feet in just a bit. And then we're gonna start taking the toes a little more out, angled out towards the points of your mat. So we're gonna practice those wide leg squats again. So basically our goddess legs, very good activation for the whole leg and into the core and glutes. So take a nice deep inhale here, hands to hips, so you can feel your hip crease. Lengthen the spine as you inhale. As you exhale, start to sit the tailbone straight down towards the floor. And then we're going to inhale, push into your feet. Simultaneously straighten up. So notice I'm lifting my toes. Trying to keep all the muscle action in the right places. Take a deep inhale, lengthen the, the spine, reaching the crown to the, towards the ceiling. As you exhale, belly to spine, tailbone sits straight down. And then we're gonna inhale, push into the heels and the balls of the feet. All the way, we're gonna do one more. Deep inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, we're gonna sit. Hold it for one breath. And exhale. And then you can start pushing into those feet to straighten. Take the toes back facing towards the long edge if you need to move the legs around, if that was intense for you. Take a second to do that, then come back to your wide legs. We're gonna do our warrior sequence on the opposite side. So again, get set up with your alignment. As you take your next inhalation, you're going to turn those left toes out towards the short edge of the mat. So you want to feel the body evenly between your two feet. Inhale the arms up. As you exhale, bend the front knee, check in with that knee briefly. Take the gaze over the front fingers. Let's breathe one more breath here. As we inhale, we're straightening that front knee. Realign, readjust if you need to. Drop the shoulders, inhale the arms out. Exhale, bend the front knee again. Maybe try and get a little deeper into that stretch. Take the gaze over the front fingers. And breathe. Two more breaths. One more breath. Next, inhale, rotate the left arm facing upward. Exhale, reach those left fingers up towards the sky. Keep breathing. Inhale, come forward, back to warrior two. As you exhale, bend the left forearm, open the chest. Get adjusted, set up your face. Then we inhale the right arm up, exhale, reach it over next to the ear. Again, for a challenge, take the gaze upward towards the ceiling, or you can keep looking out ahead or down at the floor. One more breath here. And we're going to inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, drop the arms. Rotate the left toes to the long edge. Heel toe the feet closer. And we're coming back to mountain pose. So find your mountain pose. 
Lengthen the spine as you inhale. As you exhale, activate the belly. We're gonna practice some chair pose here. So check in with the feet again, toes are free, the weight is between the balls of the feet and the heels. Knees are soft. Exhale the belly to be activated. Let's take the hands to the hips for the first go round. Inhale, lengthen spine, exhale, belly. Gets active as we start sitting back to our chair. So check in, just take a peek down. Make sure the knees are right over the ankles. And let's breathe here for one more breath. And then we're gonna inhale, push into the feet, stand. If you wanna make it a little more challenging, this time we can raise the arms. So as we take a deep inhale, we lengthen as we exhale, belly to spine, and we sit. Breathe here for two breaths. And one more breath. And we're gonna inhale to stand. Exhale, hands to heart. All right, this time we're gonna do a twisty chair. So if you like to bring your legs closer for that, you can. Or you can leave them with the heels under the, under the hips, whatever works for you. Deep inhale, grow the spine. Exhale, we sit to our chair. Peek down, check in with the knees. Once you get there to your chair, take a deep inhalation. Again, we're exhaling belly to the spine as we start to look to the right. And so from here, if you wanna take the elbow to the left elbow to the knee, you can. One more breath. And now we're coming back to center, standing all the way up. Exhale, we're gonna sit again. Exhaling, exhaling, twisting to the left. Once you get there, if you can let that right elbow find the left knee, you can take it there. Or you can stay just with the twist. Let's breathe for two more here. And one more breath. And then we'll start to come up as we inhale, untwist, come all the way back to standing. Come back to your mountain pose, reach the arms way up. Exhale, start to reach the hands right behind you. As you inhale again, pull the chest up towards the ceiling, just like we did at the start of our practice. So pulling those shoulder blades towards the center. Breathing there for a couple of breaths. And then we inhale, reach the arms way up again. Exhale the hands to the heart. Coming back to our seat. One more time. Inhale, reach way up. Exhale the hands to the heart. So again, coming to the seat. This time as you're ready, you're gonna start making your way down to the floor. So you can just start with reaching down or if you like to come through the Malasana posture, you can let the knees come out to either side. Give them a nice opening stretch. And then when you're ready, you're gonna to come to your seat. So from here, we're gonna practice a little bit of boat pose to come to the sits bones. Feel the spine lengthen as you inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna start rocking back onto the sits bones a little bit more for balance. And if that doesn't work for you, you can take the hands right behind you and start to rock the feet off the floor. 
If you're not using your hands back here, then you just want to start rocking those toes off the floor, pulling the knees closer to the body. And I'm going to let you work your boat pose however you like to, but we're shooting for three to five breaths in our boat pose. So you could do a couple of breaths and then give it a rest. We're working on holding for at least three breaths. So after your third breath, let just the toes come back to the floor. And if your hands are back here, that's okay. Try to move them a little further out because we're going to do our last core challenge of this practice. We're going to take a deep inhale, lengthen our spine. As we exhale, we're going to try to roll down just using the core. You can take the hands behind the legs if that helps or you can use no hands if that feels safe for you. You're gonna roll all the way down to your back. Rock the knee side to side. Loosen up those hips. Start to take the knees back to the body. Roll them around into a big circle. Come in the opposite way. And then we start to take the knees out, grabbing the feet once again at the center, pulling those legs in towards the body. Just breathe here for a few breaths. If you want to take that stretch deeper, you can take it into happy baby. Walk it out a little bit if that feels good. And then start to take the soles back to the floor. And get the body nice and stretched out onto the mat for Shavasana. So anything you need for Shavasana right now, let's start getting set up. When it is one o'clock, if anybody has to um, jet out, we have some big plans. So I'm um, going to keep talking through Shavasana and it'll just be about three or five more minutes. So we're settling down on the back. Tucking the shoulder blades under. Feeling some space between the heels. Feeling some space between the arms and the body. Let your head move gently from side to side. And find a comfortable resting place at the center. Then the blink the eyes open and closed and then open again. And then let them gently meet eyelid to eyelid. Start to take the attention back to your breath. As you deepen your breath, with each inhalation, feel the body inflate. And with each exhalation, feel the body become emptier and heavier. Begin to bring your awareness to the parts of your body that are making contact with the floor. So notice the back of your head, your upper back, the backs of your legs and the heels. With every exhalation, feel all those places begin to sink deeper into the floor. So again, to move the awareness deeper, feeling all the muscles in your body, from the tiny muscles in your eyelids to the larger muscles of your legs and your core. Feel how the muscles of your belly and your chest move as you breathe in and as you breathe out. And your next exhalation, 
all the muscles become heavier and heavier. And finally, bring your awareness into your bones and your skull, down to the tiny bones in your toes. And every time you exhale, let all the bones get heavier and heavier. Your skin, your muscles, and your bones continue to grow heavier with every exhalation as you sink deeper and deeper into the floor. Begin to bring your awareness back to your body, lying on the floor. Every inhalation, begin to let the body feel lighter. Feel the heaviness lift away from your muscles, your skin, your bones. Every time you inhale, Feel some gentle movement to return to fingers and toes. Your eyelids begin to blink open and closed, and then open again. Start to move your head again from side to side. And the next time you breathe in, Start to stretch the arms overhead, reaching the fingers away from the toes once more. Exhale, start to hug those knees back to the body. And from here, as you're ready, you can roll over to one side and begin to make your way back to your seat. And once you find your seat, take your hands to the heart. And let's take a moment to offer gratitude for the time we get to spend together. So may we be healthy, may we be happy, and may we be at peace. Namaste.